Hello and welcome to Dancing Numbers. Today we are going to try to import the invoices from Google Sheet using the Dancing Numbers to QuickBooks Online. If you are already signed in, you should be able to see the name of the company on the right side corner. If you need to switch the company or change the company, you can click on Switch Company and select the right one. Start the import process. I'm going to click on start. If you need to import any of the list, you can select that from here. In this example, we are going to try to import the invoices. So I'm going to click on transactions and invoice here. Now we got two options here. Either we can upload from XLS or just the regular Excel sheet, or we can choose to upload from Google Sheet. Now here, I'm gonna click on Browse Google Sheet, and then I am going to select the spreadsheet or the Excel sheet or the Google Sheet that is already saved, and select the workbook here, and click Next. On the next screen, we need to map or match the fields accordingly. So let's say, for example, QuickBooks says, it's called a customer here. Now in your Google Sheet or in your Excel Sheet, it can be called a client or it can be just the word name. So we just need to match all the things accordingly. And then once that is done, we can click on next. Now it's going to show me what information is going to be imported. As a preview, it's kind of ready to import. So if there is any changes that you would like to make on this screen, you may go ahead and change it as you feel like. Now I'm going to hit import. Now it says missing references. So missing references means, let's say if you have a new customer, if you have a new item, which does not exist in QuickBooks yet, and you would like to create it. So I'm gonna click okay. And it takes me to import missing references screen first. Now here's my test item. I'm gonna choose service for this example. And I'm going to choose an account here, which is related to income. Find out so. And once we select the income account, you can click on create items here. That item is created, which means the item is now there in online. Then check, make sure there's nothing under accounts, nothing under drawn, and we are ready to import once again. If I hit import, now depending on how much information you have, or depending on the internet speed, data that you are trying to process, it may say it may take some time transfer that data or to import that data from your Google Sheet to QuickBooks Online using the dancing numbers. So, well, in this example, we have successfully imported 25 out of 25 invoices to your QuickBooks. If you'd like to check, you can log into your QuickBooks Online account and check to see and make sure the invoices are really there. Thank you.